top 10 vehicles you won't believe exist. Number 10. Tricycle Ice. If you had to think of a vehicle that could travel through the South Pole, for sure this machine would be robust, compact, and able to protect you from extreme weather conditions. This is the childhood dream of Maria Leisurstam, a British woman who decided to cross the South Pole by riding a tricycle. Although this machine is not exactly the right one to do so, it was specifically designed for this purpose. The tires of this vehicle were designed and manufactured to get a maximum grip, and its chain was greased with a unique anti-freeze product. It was also equipped with an advanced transmission system to give the tricycle maximum capacity with the minimum effort. After four years of training in cold rooms at 20 degrees below zero, this adventurous woman took only 10 days to travel more than 800 kilometers or 500 miles. This is proof that human beings can achieve whatever they want if they work hard enough. Number 9. Winston Wong BioBiv. This vehicle is more suitable for a trip on the ice than a tricycle. This is the first vehicle intentionally designed to move around ice just by using biofuel, and it was used to undertake the Transantarctic Expedition. Chen Kung National University in Taiwan developed this machine. It shows resistance against the cold and winds of Antarctica due to its effective and functional design. This vehicle can reach a speed of up to 135 kilometers an hour or 84 miles per hour despite its light and simple design. It runs using eco-friendly fuels. This characteristic has contributed to research on sustainable energy. For sure, the BioBiv has become one of the most favorite vehicles to travel on ice. Number 8. Cheberator. This amphibious all-terrain vehicle with huge tires was manufactured in St. Petersburg, Russia. It can run on land and can overcome the most difficult terrains. And it can also float over water due to its sporting, balloon-like big tires and shovel-shaped stub shafts in the tires that work as propellers. The last models of this vehicle can even climb walls and go vertically or go other vehicles without any problem. Driving them makes us feel like we're driving a mini monster truck. Number 7. Toto Tirreno Sutra. Some roads are just the worst, and sometimes four wheels are not enough for your vehicle to drive those difficult terrains. This vehicle is huge with the dimensions of 8 feet by 8 feet and can hold up to 10 people. This machine adapts to any kind of surface due to an articulate system, which separates the vehicle into two halves. Although this vehicle looks like as if it has a wagon in the back. Additionally, it can keep traction on the back tires because it has a flexible chassis. This flexibility in the chassis helps it make its way through any obstacle, even if it has to adopt an unusual position. Number 6. SUV de Alambre Extreme. When it's about getting over obstacles on the road, this vehicle is the winner. It was originally designed for 4x4 competitions, and it beats all the opponent's vehicles in such a way that the judges in the competition had to come up with a new category for this beast. This all-terrain vehicle has four independent wheels mounted on a 2-meter vertical arm. This feature allows it to climb insurmountable hills. Every shaft is controlled from the driver's cabin. The total traction of the wheels is also controlled from the cabin. And every arm is articulated, allowing wheels to go up or down depending on the characteristics of the road. Number 5. Hamacher Schlemmer Hovercraft. This is a pretty amazing piece of machinery. Thanks to an American firm, Hamacher Schlemmer, this model is still available on the market. It's a bright yellow amphibious gliding vehicle that can fly short distances at 15 meters above the water surface. It has a two-cylinder engine 
with 130 horsepower, which is cooled by water. So this vehicle can fly and leap over any land obstacle and shallow water, reaching a speed of 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles per hour. It was one of the first flying cars on the market. This hovercraft is a toy manufactured to be enjoyed by millionaires. You can get it with a starting price of 200,000 euros or $230,000. Number 4. ATV Catco. These are trucks that go through Alaska, specially designed to transport fuel and heavy machinery. They have a very powerful engine. Something exciting about these vehicles is their tires. These trucks can have up to 14 tires, but these are not regular tires. They're basically airbags designed to float over the fragile tundra. The low-pressure airbag tires can help the truck to distribute its weight over a large ground area by reducing the impact on the terrain. From the truck cabin, the driver can adjust the air pressure of these tires to adapt them for uneven terrains. The low pressure and unique rubber material of these tires allow them to go over any surface without damaging it, and this includes human beings too. Though these airbag tires look fragile, they can withstand cargo weighing over 40 tons. Number 3. Snowcat Before manned space trips became a reality in the 60s, the biggest challenge in exploration was to cross Antarctica. Two teams headed by the British explorer Vivian Fuchs and New Zealander Edmund Hillary were famous for being the two first people to reach Mount Everest summit and surviving, went on expeditions to the poles. These teams were sponsored by the governments of the United Kingdom, New Zealand, the United States, Australia, and South Africa. These expeditions were officially named the Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expeditions. And with the support of the Snowcat, they literally fought against terrible weather conditions and rough terrain. The Snowcat is an engineering marvel that was built in the second half of the 20th century. Though this caterpillar vehicle sometimes fell into big cracks in the ice, it could withstand harsh conditions. The Snowcat uses four rotors with tracks to go on any kind of surface. It quickly adapts to any slope, and it's strong enough to climb difficult terrains. One amazing thing of this type of vehicle is that its tracks are connected and can rotate on its axis. They can be different angles or continue to be powerful enough to get over any obstacle, taking traction to a new level. Number 2. Karkov Chanka. Without a doubt, this machine is a snow tractor that started to be manufactured in the 50s, and it's the brainchild of Soviet engineering. Previously, it was tested in the cold steppes of Siberia, and this vehicle was specially built to explore and colonize the South Pole. Its Russian creators say that it's the best vehicle to run on snow as well as ice, which is ever made by men. It has a space capacity of about 30 square meters, which means it has enough space for beds, common areas, and for transporting more than 10 passengers. Its big size is not an obstacle to move efficiently all over extreme terrains. It uses a powerful V12 diesel engine with 520 horsepower that allows it to run only at 40 kilometers an hour or 11 miles per hour. However, it can tow a 70-ton trailer and climb slopes steeper than 30 degrees. This unbelievable machine is still in use nowadays. Although there are a lot more modern machines, which may seem to be a competition for these giant ice vehicles, they continue to operate in the Russian military bases in Antarctica. Number 1. Halley Research Station – Mobile Base Antarctica is a place of interest for scientists, but constant dangerous movements of glaciers require building infrastructures adapted to cold weather and breaking ice. This station is a permanent base founded in 1956. 
The ozone layer depletion was discovered thanks to scientific research carried out in this base. It is one of the oldest sites built in extreme weather regions. Six stations have been built since the beginning in the year of 1956. The first four stations were covered by snow accumulation, which got damaged and became uninhabitable. That's why a mobile building adaptable to the most extreme weather conditions in the world was built. Its last version, Halley IV, is a strange and futuristic structure with an innovative design that allows withstanding against the freezing temperatures. This facility is segmented into eight modules, each module sitting atop ski-fitted hydraulic legs. These legs prevent the station from being covered by snow as they can be individually raised. The modules can also be towed independently to a new safe location in case there's snow movement and ice starts cracking.